Muslim outrage forces Canadian university to pull a poster of lesbian hijabis. No. On May 17th, also known as the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia, Western University posted a graphic featuring two women in hijab who appeared as if they were about to kiss. The university immediately faced backlash from Ontario's local Muslim community. Many Muslims condemned the poster, stating that the content was, quote, inappropriate and disrespectful because the hijab holds religious and spiritual connotations. The backlash forced the removal of the post from the university's social media pages after a petition against the imagery received over 2,000 signatures. A local Muslim leader, Imam uh, Ab Ab Af Afata Tawakal, stated, quote, while we appreciate that the intent is to prom promote inclusion, the poster is doing the opposite. Singling a Muslim religious symbol in that setting is inappropriate. Opio Oloa, Olo Oloya, a diversity and an equity specialist for the university, said, quote, we believe this presents an opportunity for genuine thoughtful discussion about how we can best support members of the queer Muslim community and from all faith faith faiths and backgrounds within the L S LGBTQ plus community. Nevertheless, they still took it down. Um, what the hell they, they bent a knee to homophobic views. This must be on, okay, but... literally on the day against homophobia. You submitted to homophobia on the day against homophobia. Do you, do these people have no spine? Like cowards, <laughs> Canada, you cowards. Canada, no offense, as a Canadian, no offense to you as a Canadian, Armin, but Canada has like a special ability to shrivel against like islamic bullshit but yeah i thought so in everything except this i thought this would be something that would be like okay maybe everything else but here we draw the line this is lgbt stuff and this is canada okay this one we're not gonna back off but apparently they did back off Holy crap, is 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 the Islamic influence that high that you're even willing to give up on standing up for gay rights? You cowards, you pathetic cowards. The, you know, okay, so the diversity, equity, and inclusion officer said, in order to promote that discussion, we have removed the image from the post to not distract from these important conversations. Oh, crap. You, you, Are you oh fucking my kidding god. me? Oh, my God. Oh, this, we're just like. This is your diversity person? Are you, we're not. Like, it's a joke. It's a joke. We're not we're not accepting their homophobia. We're just removing it so we could have a conversation. By the way, I bet you, I bet you they are thinking like in their private, like holy crap, there's a lot of homophobia in the Muslim community. And they were right. People were right when they were when we were told that homophobia and the Muslim community goes hand in hand. We didn't believe them, and now we do. We should have believed them. Holy crap, these people, a lot of these people are homophobic. <laughs> Murtad Skeptic, who I believe is a Canadian ex-Muslim, saying, this is the important conversation. <laughs> the important conversations are, <laughs> he's just like, I can't even type. I'm just so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, yeah, by the way, um, somebody, Miss Ar Ar Artsy is saying this helps this help exposes yeah yeah this does help expose them like you know it's also good that on day on homophobia day we're seeing that islam is the problem um but seriously god damn it like it's so uh, crazy sorry, if this was anything else if this was anything else they wouldn't 
they like if this was the backlash from was any other community, not only they wouldn't have back off, they would be proud of causing a backlash from the from that community. Imagine if the same demand was coming from conservatives. They would be like, are you serious? We, do you think we're going to remove this because of you guys being upset? Of course, like you guys are homophobic. We're not going to bend the knee to your goddamn homophobia. Be upset. But when it comes from the Muslim community, like, oh, my God. No, oh, did we upset you? Sorry. Sorry. We, sorry we upset you with our tolerance. It's so ridiculous. Oh, my God. This, this is what's so stupid. So this imam said, well, we appreciate the intent is to promote inclusion. The poster is doing the opposite. Singling a Muslim religious symbol in that setting is inappropriate. Yes. I don't how understand. Dare you? I don't understand how it's singling because... In this poster, so you see in our thumbnail, you see there's like an interracial couple, there's a disabled couple, there was another lesbian couple, and then there's like the hijabis aren't even as physical as the other couples. They like are just very yeah. close to each other, looking like they're about to kiss. But because this is part of the problem with the hijab is that it is such a much more explicit religious symbol than other religious symbols. Mm -hmm. Like it is, it is so specific because actually theoretically any of the other individuals in this poster could also be muslim they yes, just don't wear exactly. it on their head any yes. of these other figures in this they're all in, muslim they're all they're muslim, all muslim. Or, they're, or they're a christian or they're a hindu but it's just not no as no, no. i'm visible. deciding that i'm deciding that every single one of these people <laughs> is a muslim okay what are you gonna do what are you gonna do now huh what are you gonna do remove them all well, technically, all right. we are all born Muslims anyways, so that is actually yeah. correct. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, well, just yeah. Me crazy. But as a Canadian, how does that make you feel, Armin? Well, I mean, I feel outraged regardless of being a Canadian or not. This is what, this is like bending your knee to homophobia by the people who seem to acting like they're fighting homophobia. Apparently. If it comes from the Muslim community, then that's acceptable homophobia. This is the message. This is the message. You can't be homophobic unless you're a Muslim. Then your homophobia is acceptable. That's the message we're getting from these people who are pretending to be fighting homophobia. They're legitimizing certain brands of it. This is just also is like a demonstration of when these like diversity, equity, and inclusion offices are just completely useless and a waste of money. Which is something I believe for like the majority of their purposes in any given institution. But that's a different conversation. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't want to get picky right now because say anecdotal and blah 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 because I don't want I, I don't feel like it right now. But no, I know anecdotal. It's anecdotal. Oh yeah, okay. So we I have, have a lot of good reactions in the live chat to this. Forever yeah. Stormy is saying they're literally protected by Western laws and to still bend like this is unacceptable. How would the university administrators behave if they were in an actual Islamic nation? That's such a good point. Like these, this, this outraged group has no authority over them. And they still were like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, they have they have these these are not people who are allies against homophobia in any way. This is not someone who stands with the LGBT community in any way, shape, or form. Stormy is so right. Imagine if they were in a country where we actually did have real restrictions on the freedom to love or have sex with who you want. This wouldn't be anyone. These wouldn't be people who stand up for you. These are just milk toast like administrators. It's yeah, yeah. They're just doing it because it's easy right now. They're like, this, yeah, that's a, such a great point. You know, these are not fighters for your rights. These are like, what they don't is care about you? Don't they, they don't they care don't, about your cause? They're, yeah, they're like, what what is society? What what do so, like tell us the things that makes people clap for us, okay? Because if on they the see like day, oh, the international day against homophobia, on the, yeah. it's insane. Yeah, you're right. Actually, that's such a good point. Like, Im like imagine like the smallest amount of resistance makes them, you know, cower in, in and retreat. Imagine if you actually no, no, let me make let me because then I'm Sorry. making a point. Sorry. Imagine if like the the activists that are actually putting risking their lives okay the activists that are like 
risking their safety, sacrificing uh, their freedom for gay rights, for non-religious people's rights, for all other sorts of minority, minority rights. These are the same people who look down upon them. But as, as soon as things get a little bit difficult, they're not going to fight for any of your rights. You know, these are, these are just doing it because it's trendy, right? Like, if, if forget speaking, like, fi speaking truth to power. Just the mildest pushback makes them, like, we're sorry. So, like, you should, as, as, forget be, as a Canadian, as a, as a gay person or a lesbian person or a bi person or as a trans person, you need to, you, those are the people who need to be offended right now. Those are the people who need to be attacking us. Where are, where is, Susie, where is the LGBT community? Is there a backlash from the LGBT community? Because if they, if they thought like, oh, we made a mistake because the Muslim community is like um, upset with us or angry with us. I, I want the LGBT community to come back now at them right now 10 times more than what, than what the Muslim. Where are they? LGBT activists right now need to show a response to this. Do we know if there has been any backlash from the LGBT community? Not that I'm aware of. Most of the backlash that I'm aware of is from more um, anti-woke type of groups. But the, for, forget those. Well, El this is your moment, LGBT community. Right? Yeah, where are you? Are you going to just let like some anti woke anti-SJW people pick up this fight? This is why they become relevant, because you're not doing it. This is your job right now. Tell them, tell, tell this university. If this university had bent the knee to, uh, to conservative groups, wouldn't you right now be outraged? So why are you not outraged? The Muslim community is a conservative community. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. If it was conservative Christians that they had submitted to, you wouldn't be, ex you wouldn't sit back. You would be like, what the hell? This is Canada. This is not Saudi goddamn Arabia. Like you, you're like, you can't do this here. Anyways, I'm sorry. Let's go to the left chat. No, I mean, this is all legitimate. <laughs> I completely second everything you're saying. Um, and Forever Stormy is also saying, it's funny how the hijab becomes just a dress and then a symbol of Islam as per their convenience. This is also... Right. Yeah, very true. Yeah, very well put. Um, and Murtad Skeptic is saying, you can look at the comments on the Instagram page. People are heavily divided on this. For example, this backlash shows exactly why we need to fight it. Um, mm -hmm. And see, so what if they didn't singling it? What if they included a person with a with a cross wearing a hijab? Yeah. yeah. So if there was like a good someone who was wearing a Christian symbol, like kissing someone wearing a hijab, like would this be a problem still? Ooh. It would still be a problem for them. It would still I be know. a problem for them. They're That's lying what they're to using. you. You're lying. They're, lying to you. they're, they're like, we can't tell them we're homophobic. We're like, uh, what do we say? God damn it. They're going to find out that we're You're singling out the Muslim community as oh, yeah. gay, <laughs> which shows their homophobia. Like, okay, oh, what if we are? What if we are singly showing the Muslim community? The Muslim representation happens to be gay. Is that such a bad thing? Well, to them, it is. Right. Um, Murtad Skeptic is also saying, imagine being a Muslim hijabi and finally seeing representation and a bold move by the university finally showing they will support them too. But then they now singled that they aren't willing to fight. Yeah. Well, not not finally. I'm, I might want to remind everybody that we have some juicy, juicy, juicy blasphemous art of hijabis do, doing a lot more than just kissing. And if you want, and it's very sexually explicit. So if you want to see our blasphemous art, which they're beautiful, link in the description. Our patrons have access to the 18 plus not safe for work version of all of them. So that's what you get as a patron. So link in the description. True. We have an aggressive amount of uh, lesbian hijabi art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, and we got so much lesbian hijabi art that some of our patrons, so some of them ask, can we move on from lesbian hijabi art? And I was like, Damn. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was my bias. That's why we have so much lesbian and jubbyard. Anyways. 
and then yeah so the university is basically saying homophobia is okay if it's your culture yeah exactly that's their message yeah and <laughs> and also sarcastically saying we will fight against homophobia unless it actually exists and we we only like to preach to choirs and not make a uh, actual change <laughs> yeah you know what you know what this shows this these same people if they lived in a homophobic society they would be homophobic themselves you know what i mean they, these are not like they would so easily if the if 50 percent and a and a half of people in the society were homophobic that would be enough for them not to only not fight homophobia but to also spread homophobia they're like these are the same people that would have been like these are our cultural values you know what i mean this is the norm this is tradition they're just in Canada, and apparently Canada is like anti-homophobia. Like, okay, okay, homophobia, but oh no, backlash. Oh no, sorry, sorry. What do we do? Like, these are these are not the people who are gonna fight or f do anything that could be make them even a little bit un uncomfortable, even when it comes to doing doing it for something as important as your rights. God damn it! I hate the, I hate these people. I hate these people. This really Disgusting. goes to like what Yasmin Muhammad talks about with how like well-meaning liberals unintentionally empower like radical Islam. This is like her whole point. This is like her whole thesis. And here it is demonstrated yet again, still. Yeah. See, like more times say, yeah, 51% of the society, 51% of the society was hom uh, was homophobic. This university would be like international day against homosexuality. That That's the kind of people they are. <laughs> Oh my God. When uh, Deborah, you know Deborah, our, our former Islamist friend, she sent this to me. Uh, and I was like, wow. <laughs> and this just blew my mind. I was like, we are definitely covering this. This is insane. Right. Anyways. But yeah, and also I, I'm glad that the live chat highlighted how big of a betrayal this would be to a lot of guys there are a lot of hijabi gay people okay there are a lot okay and the the, the muslim community is just denying your existence okay look at it. if you're a muslim if if you are a hijabi lesbian we as atheists are recognizing your existence okay and you know be you okay but the <laughs> but a, the, a lot of the muslim community in canada is just denying that you even exist okay so there you go Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.